Welcome to Space News from the Electric Universe, brought to you by the Thunderbolts Project at thunderbolts.info. On Friday, March 6th, the NASA Dawn spacecraft entered the orbit of the mysterious dwarf planet Ceres, with the craft scheduled to begin sending images to Earth in April. For several weeks, surprising and unexplained bright spots within a crater on the planet's surface have generated enormous buzz in popular media. The very limited speculations on these mysterious bright spots have ranged from exposed ice, to water vapor, to salt flats, or even a quote volcano-like feature on the tiny planet. It's interesting that Ceres, which was once classified as an asteroid, has no nearby gravitational influences to create tidal heating which might generate the plumes. The mechanism planetary scientists have used to try to explain the so-called volcanic plumes on the Jovian moon Io. Recently, planetary geologist Emily Lakdawalla reported on the theory of at least one scientist that the bright feature on Ceres is a form of so-called outgassing. Lakdawalla writes, As Ceres' globe rotates and the 80-kilometer crater's rim rotates into view, that rim should block our ability to see the bright feature on the floor of the crater. However, the bright feature is already visibly bright as the crater begins to rotate into view. Therefore, it must be vertically above the rim of the crater. It must be some kind of plume. It's interesting that so-called outgassing is also the mechanism that astronomers frequently cite when attempting to explain the astonishing spectroscopic readings of comets at vast distances from the Sun where the environment is much too cold for solar warming to sublimate the comet's invisible, theoretical subsurface ices. Countless comet mysteries might finally be resolved if scientists were willing to entertain electrical discharge activity on a comet. As noted in several recent Space News episodes, the discovery of greatly enhanced electron fluxes close to the nucleus of Comet 67P is a confirmation of the electric comet theory, which states that a comet will emit electrons as its discharge activity increases. The visibility of the plume vertically above the rim of a crater and the location of the brightest of the two bright spots at the center of the crater are not a coincidence if electrical arcing is happening on Ceres. In electrical discharge experiments, we routinely see central craters or central peaks that match precisely countless puzzling craters seen on planetary surfaces. So-called bullseye craters, which are craters with central craters within, are a long-standing puzzle for planetary scientists. We note that immediately around the crater with the mysterious bright spots, we see what appear to be at least two such bullseye craters. Consider this side-by-side -side comparison of the surface of Ceres and a picture of anode crater formation in an electrical discharge machining process. The Electric Universe theory states that craters seen on asteroids, comets, and planetary surfaces are primarily the result of electrical discharges at a vast variety of scales. The opportunity may now exist for scientists to witness the active electrical excavation of a planetary surface. Such a process on an electrically active comet has already been witnessed dramatically on Comet Temple 1. Prior to the Deep Impact mission in 2005, scientists had suggested that the comet nucleus lost about one-third of a meter of depth in each orbit. When the Stardust Next spacecraft re-imaged the comet nucleus in 2010, it found that the wall of the most prominent mesa had astonishingly retreated dozens of meters. The excavation of material appeared to be precisely focused at the location of the mysterious pixel saturation, which, according to proponents of the electric universe, was the focal point of electric arcs. We note, it is still too early to form any final conclusions about the nature of the bright spots on Ceres, and we eagerly await images from the Dawn spacecraft in April. However, as repeatedly demonstrated on this series, Space News from the Electric Universe, theoretical models based on the notion of an electrically sterile and disconnected solar system have resulted in continuous surprises and unexplained mysteries. The Electric Universe theory states that both comets and asteroids will experience varying degrees of electrical stresses depending on their orbits and will electrically discharge in response to a potential difference in their plasma environment. 
Given that the solar wind is primarily composed of protons, representing a positively charged region of space, it is only appropriate to consider the effects of this potential difference on cometary and asteroidal activity. We suggest it is inevitable that this possibility will begin to creep into mainstream astronomical literature. Consider the 2011 paper of the Russian scientist Ibadov, entitled Space Observations of Comets During Solar Flares. While the paper does not include the electric universe concept of electric circuits in space, it does describe a capacitor-like breakdown occurring between a comet's charged subsurface and a differently charged surface due to arriving protons from the Sun. Ibadov writes, An irradiation of a certain class of comet nuclei, having positive brightness correlation with solar activity by intense solar cosmic rays, Fluxes of high-energy protons and positive ions ejected from the Sun during strong solar flares can possibly produce impulse gamma hard X-rays due to high-voltage electric discharge in the subsurface layer of the comet. Until recently, the dwarf planet Ceres was officially classified as an asteroid. And in recent years, scientists have acknowledged that the distinctions between an asteroid and a comet are increasingly unclear. As noted in a 2013 Space News episode, astronomers were stunned when the asteroid P2013 P5 suddenly produced six comet-like tails. The asteroid has since been officially reclassified as a main belt comet. The ad hoc theory some scientists have proposed is that an increase in the asteroid's spin rate caused dust material to fly off into space where it is stretched and confined by solar radiation. In a recent scientific paper, astronomers have also proposed that an increase in the spin rate of the asteroid P2012 F5 actually caused the asteroid to explode. However, we suggest it is not a coincidence that comets also suddenly disintegrate, even at remarkably vast distances from the Sun, much too far for solar warming to cause the explosions. Are the bright spots on Ceres electrical in nature? While it is again too early to form any final conclusions, we do make the following prediction with great confidence. All theoretical models that fail to recognize a planet as a charged body will only result in further surprises and confusion. For forthcoming updates on NASA's Dawn mission to Ceres, stay tuned to Space News from the Electric Universe. For continuous updates on Space News from the Electric Universe, Stay tuned to thunderbolts.info.